You know, if you're a buyer or seller in today's hot real estate market, your agent may have asked you about appraisal gap coverage or even talked about the appraisal gap coverage clause. Well, did you know that not having these in your offer or in a contract could cost you the whole deal? Let's go find out what I'm talking about next. Hi, my name's Peggy Durstoff and I'm a realtor with HomeSmart here in the Denver metro area and I specialize in suburban living. First of all, what's an appraisal gap? Well, an appraisal gap occurs when the buyer's offer is actually higher than the appraised value of the home. And this usually occurs when you have a market like we're experiencing right now a very hot seller's market due to a lack of inventory and high buyer demand. Now, the appraiser is sent out by the lender to appraise the property and an appraiser will look at homes around the property that have sold recently. Now, going back to the appraisal gap where the contract price is higher than the appraisal, this becomes a problem. The home is listed at $599. You offered $650 but the appraisal only came in at 625. So the difference is 25,000. Gap coverage is almost like an insurance policy for the seller because in your offer, you will say something along the lines of, if the home does not appraise at what I offered you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I will bring this difference, in this case 25,000, to the table as cash at closing. See, don't think it's going to be an opportunity for you to renegotiate. Not in this market, because there's nothing in our Colorado contract that says the seller has to accept your offer if it doesn't appraise. Everyone can terminate the, off the contract and they can move on to the next buyer that's willing to give them what they want. And so protect yourself because you like the home, you want to buy it, and the seller will then be more willing to work with you because you're assuring them that you're going to give them what you said you would give them. So that's appraisal gap coverage. It protects everybody. It protects you, the buyer, because you're capping how much you will bring in or cover. And it protects the seller because it lets them know that your offer is a serious offer and you're willing to come to the table with the money you promised them. Now, if you've used this clause, do let me know. Go ahead and put a comment down below. In fact, won't you consider subscribing? Go ahead and like it, comment down below, subscribe. Each week I come up with videos. And in the meantime, if you'd like this video, go ahead and check out this one over here where I talk about the difference between owner's insurance and a home warranty. So much for watching and I'll see you next week.